I've never jumped anybody with this yet. KN95 work masks from 3M. We got some sirens in here. Dude, it's all smile. So, the scrapyard is inexplicably closed on a Friday at 10 p.m. That's very odd. Hope everybody's okay. So as I'm driving by the closed scrapyard, I see all this metal here. Looks like we got some a bunch of steel BX cable conduit here. Let's take what I can fit. Ooh, that's a nice uh, four inch blast gate there. I keep that. Get that all intertwined here. This uh, this steel BX cable, it's like 10 cents a pound. It's such low value, I probably just drop it in the shred pile. But we got some some insulated copper wire in here for sure. All right, that's a good find right there. Yeah, look at that. That's worth it to strip. This looks like aluminum BX. That's worth it to turn in at the scale house. All right, then we'll just chuck all the rest of this conduit in here. All right, little, good little curb picking score. No, I'll do it. That's cool. Hey, well, nice to meet you. Yeah, <laughs> right? I got my hand in on. That did it, huh? I never jumped anybody with this yet. It worked. Yeah, you're welcome. But if you want to play, I'll play something. <laughs> I got jokes on. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. So we uh, made 46 bucks today at the scrapyard. Kind of cool. I got uh, I got brand new one dollar bills here. They're sequentially ordered, nice and crisp. Here's what we had: 360 pounds of shred steel, uh, 100 pounds of heavy melt, six dollars of brake rotors, and six dollars of stainless steel, and a bunch of wire that we'll keep on stockpiling. Not bad. We'll put it in the can. And now we got an empty truck. Let's go find some more stuff. <sighs> All I got was a golf club. Got a nice one wood, a little bit of uh, wear there. Let's see how far we can hit this chunk of dirt. Whew. Oh yeah. Oh damn, got a big steel door frame. Big steel door or a filing cabinet? Hmm, <laughs> two steel doors, but my tiny truck. I mean, if I put the bed down, I can fit it in. I'll just put all this wire in that bin. Oh, son of a bitch.
So I'll back the truck up right here. We'll get these two up on the side. We'll get them in that lightning. Okay. Careful, bro, careful. Crushed my damn self. There we go. Gotta strap this down, we're all set. Ah, oh, what are these? I bet you they're COVID tests. I find these all the time now. Whoa. Look at that New York map. Whoa. Yeah, those COVID tests might go bad, but these don't. KN95 work masks from 3M. So I literally buy these on Amazon every month for my other business, like 15 bucks for a 50 pack. So that's a, that's a score right there. No way, is this one full too? Oh, damn. Dude, that's huge. Ah, oh, we got more. More masks. Oh yeah. Dude, I was initially intrigued by this map in New York. What's that? Ain't that, ain't that. All right. Yeah, dude, I'm gonna, this, this is going up on my wall here. Damn, another whole box of masks. 2,000 pieces here. All right, we got LED, T8 LED light bars. Another, uh, another whole thing of COVID. A little bit of scrap. Ah, wrapping paper. What should I do with all these face masks? I can't really use these ones. These ones uh, are gonna save me a couple hundred bucks though. Let's check these out on eBay real quick. So eBay, you can just press the little uh, camera icon and just scan the USB-C. Look, a, a case of 500 packs like I just found, 150 bucks. Pack of 50, $23. That's, that's a fine right there. Hopefully I can get this thing home in one piece without ruining it. All right, fine, let's keep going. All right, we got a roll off back here. Hey, it's a microwave. All right, let's, let's test her out. Usually people just toss them because they don't want to clean them. So truck's got 2.6 kilowatts of power, so it's definitely powerful enough. Hey, she beeped on. I said I was gonna have a thing of popcorn next time and I don't have it, but. Hey, she clicked on. Num number pads working. It's a little greasy, needs to be cleaned off. There's some other stuff in here too. 
Yes, there's some crutches, there's some aluminum right there. Oh. Kids chalk, take this kids chalk, give that away. Ah. It's like a cool can holder guy. Oh, we got some, some cleaning products. Oh, and nails and screws, hell yeah. Hell yeah. I love finding hardware and screws and nails and stuff. Oh, what do we got? Ah, nice C clamp. Acrylic clear glaze. Ah, oh, look, all those old Coke cans. What's this? Verner's? Ginger ale, ginger flavored soft drink. Look, it's full. I wonder if it's still carbonated. Anyone want to buy a unopened bottle of a Verner's ginger ale? That might be worth something, actually. I see a cord sticking out here. Like a wine, looks like a wine fridge. Oh yeah. Oh, we can test this too. <sighs> Big old chunk of aluminum there. Oh yeah. So this is a this is a police light bar. Or part of one. There's enough metal on there. This place refurbishes uh, emergency vehicles. They always have a ton of wire. I've actually tried to give them containers to fill up, but they never use them. And they just keep throwing stuff in here, but they said I can come in and take whatever I want all the time, so. Sometimes I'll find like whaling uh, sirens and siren controllers. And like they even toss this like super thick, heavy duty copper wire. Yeah, rats, rat's nest. It's all just like their snippings. And I just kind of separate it later. Yeah, I've been coming to this dumpster for about four or five years now. Hey, holy shit. We got some sirens in here. Hell yeah. These sell on eBay for 60 to $100 all day long. Uh, another one. Usually when there's one, there's more, so we'll keep digging here. More wire. So, I'll put these three sound off signal sirens on lostgoods.com for 100 bucks for all three. Based on what I've sold them on eBay before, that's a pretty fair price. One thing to consider is they cut them real short on this one. Same with this one here. So that'll be a bit of a challenge. We'll call it 80 bucks for the three. So we're full up out to put some stuff in the front. Yeah, a thousand miles on this thing and I already got it all scratched up. It's a work truck. What are you gonna do? Uh-oh. Something bad happened here. Think I can scrap that? Just kidding. Oh. Dude, it's all... I don't know what that is. It's like frozen mango or something? Well, it's kind of fishy. It might be some kind of seafood, I don't know. What is that thing with the key in it? Huh. 
okay. It's just a thing with a key in it. Yeah, it kind of looks like imitation crab, but... Okay, some dirty wire. Oh, another whole Gaylord of those. Yeah. Now I'm curious. Very, very curious. I mean, this is a food storage warehouse. You know, usually my nose is pretty good. It's not cheese, it smells kind of fishy. It's quite the mystery. Can you help me solve it? I, I'm really curious. I'm surprised like the birds aren't flocking here to eat it though. Or like, maybe they just threw it out. There's something in that box. There's a lighting fixture here. This is LED. Oh, okay. Now we got some some busted up uh some busted deck planters. It looks like it was just those two. So, these three, these four, are just fine. Look at that, we got ourselves some deck planters. Yeah, we'll either use those or give them away. Better than the trash. So we're at Bath Fitter, and they throw out a ton, a ton of shower board this stuff sometimes they'll th have like whole freaking humongous sheets of it and it's super cool for projects you can use it as a whiteboard I've got an idea to do like vacuum forming and make it into little bins of course they've got a scrap dumpster but you know that's un untouchable for the likes of me all kinds of bathtubs that are always cut up those cheap insert ones Lots of mirrors. Oh yeah, that's like a big bumper. Ooh, that's some... Dude, that's a whole steering column. Oh. Whew. Okay. Oh, hey, here we go. Oh yeah. Ah, some aluminum. Ah, I got a hole in my glove. Yeah, it's big parts supplier, so this is part of their, where they toss all their leftover stuff. Better getting scrapped than going to a landfill. Piling it up. Oh damn, we got some scrap in here. They stripped the big stuff. They're too good for this smaller stuff, though. Oh yeah, that's some nice copper wire. <laughs> uh, we got some aluminum here, but also some plate glass. So, I putting on my gloves. Oh yeah, it's 
good chunk. Alright. This is the security dumpster. We got some Ethernet in there. Alright, we'll pop in here to get that Ethernet. I think I left my reacher stick at, a, at the last dumpster. There we go. I'll take that wire, thank you very much. Partially full still. Oh, not much there. Hey, you got a camera. Smile. Okay. Brand new doorbell cover. Wire in here. So we got these uh, flooring samples. I find these all the time. Um, I just never really know what to do with them. It's nice. Alright, we're back at, back at the target to see if they're throwing out more baby stuff. Bunch of shelving they're throwing out here. Yeah, I'll take all that. These are all like the greeting card displays. Oh shit, uh, I almost... Here's the cribs and the changing tables. Alright. Thanks for letting me grab it. Yeah, yeah. Alright, looks like we got some ooh, busted up aquariums at the PetSmart. Oh. Bunch of bunch of cat food. 
Damn, there's a lot of food in here. Oh man. I will, I'll take what's left of this for our chickens. Oh man, look at all that cat food. Alright, just let's see what the deal is here. Expired in January. Ocean fish formula. Hey, they didn't they didn't screw this one. See it? Yeah, okay. Little, uh, doggy, indoor doggy potty. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna bust it up, uh, all in one fish aquarium. Take all the canned goods though, they didn't, they didn't destroy those. It's just like eating, eating outdated canned goods for humans, right? Cut open all this dog food too. They didn't cut these ones though. I'll put these out by the street. And somebody somebody will be happy to get some uh, some pet food. And not have to spend their hard earned money on it. Doggy chews, cod skins. Those look cool. That's that's what you gotta watch out for though in these dumpsters, so be be careful. Come on now. Bird seed. We're gonna have some some happy chickens. I'll just put it in here. You know this one. Whoa, I'm sinking here, I'm sinking. This one actually isn't even broken. Oh it is. It's broken on the end there. Shoot. Well, alright, this is our bird food, a friend of mine has a lab, we go nuts for those, and then we got this, uh, this kitten food, or this cat food that, you know, they marked it down to try to sell it, and it didn't sell, so it's like one day it's in the store for sale, the next day it's in the dumpster, so. You know, that, this is gonna save somebody in our neighborhood like, like 30, 40 bucks, not having to buy pet food for the, the week or the month, so. And then we got our bird food for the birds. Alright, Office Depot. Yo, Office Depot's throwing a bunch of metal away too. I don't know though. We're getting pretty full up here. So I have a ladder rack that's on the way that is basically to give me uh, like steak sides, natural steak sides. Once I have that, I'll be able to jalopy this thing up even more. Also getting a headache rack for that window. 
I know it's making everybody nervous right now. All that stuff there. I do have the stuff tied down, so you know, don't give me too much crap about that. Let's see what's in this five below dumpster here. We got some stuff. I just, I'm at the end of the day here. I don't feel like climbing in. I freaking, uh, I left the reacher stick in a dumpster. I don't know which one. So we got one more. We got an AT&T dumpster to hit, and then we'll then we're calling it a day. Yo, they're at it again at this AT&T dumpster. They didn't empty it, but they added more wire on top. Well, we'll take what they give us. Oh yeah. Yo, can somebody tell me what uh, what these are? So it's like a aluminum and then something and then aluminum shielding. I don't know if I can get like aluminum breakage for it. If you've ever scrapped this before, let me know. Andrew Heliax FSX, F, SFX 500. I find a ton of it in here. I wonder if these are brass. These ends. Hey, we got a motor. More ethernet. Tossed a bunch back here. It's all number one insulated. All right, my most dependable dumpster. Now the question is where the heck do I put it all? I think if we box it up, I can get it in here. I think I'm at my 250 pound threshold with all my, my copper wire right now. It's just, do I go take it in for the 10% extra or do I wait for copper to go up? We're kind of running out of space. I think I can shove a bunch right in there. Aluminum breakage right now is at like 10, 10 cents a pound and shred steel is at like six. So, and I'm, I'd make like an extra 50 cents if I take it to the scale house. So that's, that's why last time you saw me, I uh, just threw it all on the shred pile because so some stuff's just not worth your time. It's probably not barely even worth my time to take. What if I could resell it though? All right, we got uh, all right, we got the part number there. We'll look that up later. I'm officially calling it. We got a lot of shred steel scrap. We got to test out some appliances. We got a we got a bunch of pet food to donate. These deck boxes. Some treats we'll feed to the birds. A lot of wire. This cool map. All these, ma all these uh, 3M masks, which I'll use in my other business. A bunch of these disposable ones, which I think if I put those out between the street and the sidewalk to donate, people will take those. And just a bunch of scrap, lots of wire. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff today. And this is about four hours of diving. And it'll take me another probably hour to go to the scrapyard, turn it in, process all the wire and stuff. I was driving by. And I see this freaking car door on the side of the road. The question is, can we get it on this jam-packed truck or not? I think I might be able to get it right up on top. It's actually not even that, that heavy. I think that would work great. So this, this area here is like a dumping area in our city. So I always make sure I drive by it once or twice a week. And uh, there's sometimes there's stuff like car doors in there that you can go scrap. So, all right, now, now we're cutting. Now I'm finally, I'm really going home. All right, time to donate all this food. So we got all this cat food. I'm keeping the 3M masks. But I'm gonna donate all these, uh, these are like surgical masks. Hey Banshee. Just hope somebody takes it today because it's supposed to rain tomorrow. 